Well, there are two ways to be fooled. One is to believe what isn't true. The other is to refuse to accept what is true. Now, Kabbalah is key to the occultism and as well as it will show you the link between a lot of these deceivers, false Christs, and this uh, one world religion that they're trying to push in place. And I'm trying to present this in the way that I had come across it. Now, Joseph Smith and the Cabal, right? And I believe somebody else had even mentioned something about Mormons. So, if, if I'm assuming that a lot of you guys understand the occult connection to the Mormon Church and Freemasonry, therefore Kabbalah. Now, there's a lot of sources that you can find that aren't on YouTube if you just do a little research. And then here's a couple screenshots for you. Kabbalah is the key to, uh, I'm sorry, Kabbalah is the key of occult sciences. The Kabbalah is indeed of the essence of Freemasonry. Freemasonry is Kabbalah in another garb. Now these come from Freemasons themselves as ones who had actually written books on this. So just going through and looking at these, I mean, you guys can pause this and read these for yourself. And it's very troubling indeed. And when you take into account this push from the Chabad Lubavitch movement, which is Kabbalah, right? They say Torah, but they teach from the Talmud. And there's a lot of people acting like these seven Noahide laws aren't that big of a deal, but I beg to differ. And I believe the very fact that they're trying to rewrite the Bible because they want to remove the portions that speak of the synagogue of Satan speaks volumes of their intention and what they know that they are. Also, Jewish meditation, which you can find on Chabad.org, which goes into transcendental meditation. And you can actually find several links to this as well as articles um, discussing you know, things that the one that they called the Rebbe, you know, had talked about. Also, another odd one is the connection between Kabbalah, these red string, you know, that you see a lot of people in Hollywood wearing, which is Kabbalah and, you know, the whole evil eye, right? Which even goes even more, like I was trying to point out before with Kanye and then his most recent one, you know, if he's not in the occult, he sure really likes to talk about new age stuff as well as he really likes to be involved with throwing these, uh, you know, eye symbolism right there in front of your face. And, you know, touching on that again, you know, God resisteth the proud. And Kanye said that he's using his arrogance and his pride that doesn't sound right God humbles the proud I've been humbled quite a few times in my life for being boastful and proud so I'm seeing something really wrong with that you know there's also you know things here on YouTube you can go find for yourself you know where they're trying to push this Kabbalah like Jewish mysticism you know, which actually goes through and it just renames the different chakras. I mean, it, it's literally the exact same thing. They just rename it and give it a different Jewish name. You look into, you know, this synagogue underneath the Western Wall and Pompeo and the Chabad Lubavitch movement seems to be in this. I mean, they are, are have already started putting these uh, courts into place 
And I know there are some people acting as if it's no big deal. But here's another troubling fact, and I apologize if you guys are offended by one of the words on there. But, you know, you'll notice that it's there's a reoccurring theme here. Only this time, someone was uh, had a whole town named after him in Golan Heights. The Hegelian dialectic. The da dancing Israelis ringing a bell. I, I seem to remember someone saying when they got into office that they were going to launch an actual investigation, which never happened. So I guess uh, jet fuel, huh? But let's talk about the Seven Mountain Mandate or the New Epistolic Reformation, which is an ideology, right? That they want to control seven different mountains of influence and bring together everyone. And their goals seem to be completely aligned with what we know that the, this New World Order wants to do, especially with the One World Religion. Now, the first one is obviously religion and faith. They want to consolidate and take all the power for religion and faith. They want to control all religions and faith. They want to control family, education, government and law, media, news and commentary, arts, entertainment, business and economic. Now they believe that they need to control all of these and once they have control of all these then the Messiah will return which kind of reminds me of something else that seems to be going on with these seven Noahide laws and I know there's a lot of people who are really behind President Trump because well your pastors and your preachers are telling you to or you have you know people like Paula White and then all of these other people who we know these people just because that they say the name of Jesus they, they do not act or behave any way like someone who is filled with the Holy Spirit and it is what it is another troubling fact is our president does not feel the need to repent and quotes Norman Vincent Peale as the you know great pastor and then going back to Paula White again with a mountain of uh, red flags and issues which I mean if you've seen some of the stuff she said she was telling people if they didn't send her money or if they don't support Donald Trump they're gonna burn in hell for eternity that's fear. That is using fear. Now here's uh, you know, some pictures of people that we know are in this new apostolic reformation. You know, be, with their ideology. And you also notice on there you got Cindy Jacobs, C. Peter Wagner, Lou Engel, and then uh, James Gall. So... All of those people are advocated by someone else I'm going to address here in a minute. But th this whole Kabbalah, New Age movement, um, the, the chakras, Freemasonry, they are all into the same thing. They are all tied together. They all serve the same dark God. And then in 2015-2016, Alex Jones had Trey Smith on his show. And then Trey Smith started pushing Mark Taylor. Mark Taylor starts pushing QAnon. So I'm seeing a psychological operation here. I'm seeing something that's rigged. And going back to some of the people I showed you those pictures of, this is Mark Taylor's home congregation page, right? You can go find this for yourself. Now, when you go through here, it's headed up by a Russ Wagner. And as you can see right here, Russ has 
a doctorate in ministry from Wagner Leadership Institute in Colorado Springs, Colorado. C. Peter Wagner, Seven Mountain Mandate. He has been uh, mentored and taught by some of the Holy Spirit's generals, referring to these people as Holy Spirit generals, Cindy Jacobs, Chuck Pierce, Dutch Sheets, and Jim Gall. Now, Mr. Wagner here calls himself an apostle and states that he was confirmed by the prophet Lou Engel, the same one who got down on his feet and kissed the feet of Rome and allowed them to grovel at his feet and kiss his feet in some kind of sick, like, bromance with the Roman Catholic Church. Not to mention both men talk about the prophecies of Rick Joyner. Someone who is known to be a knight of Malta. And here's another one that I actually came across. As you can see here, the Knights Templar, shield and cross and the crown, right? I had come across this where someone was trying to say that um, this gentleman here had a prophecy that included Kanye West, which is kind of ironic because they try to say that Kim Clement also had a prophecy about Mark Taylor. And that was what was giving Mark Taylor his credence. And Mark Taylor, you know, goes through and speaks about Kim Clement a lot, which I thought was rather interesting. Now, besides Joel Olstein and the obviousness to his heresy. Here's another one about Kanye that he has never denounced or even removed. One, he keeps calling himself Jesus, which is blasphemy against Christ. And then the guy literally went through and wrote a book where he replaced the word God with Kanye and Yeshua or Jesus with Jesus. So that's what you guys who are supporting, um, you know, Kanye West, that, that, that's what you guys are supporting, man. And, and, you know, the whole arts and entertainment part, you know, I, I see that as, uh, that's Kanye, right? And then that there was things even with, you know, going back to when he first started doing his little Easter Sunday, you know, ritual. And then right before that, they had the fire ritual, right? I'm not seeing a coincidence here. I'm seeing a well thought out and executed deception and plan, and it's working. Not to mention that our president, who has multiple ties to Kabbalah, and almost everyone in his, well, I'm pretty sure, actually, I think it's everyone in his cabinet, has dual citizenship to Israel, I, I see this as very troubling, especially since, you know, people keep saying, well, how are they going to institute these seven Noahide laws? Problem, reaction, solution. That's how. They're all working towards the same one world order. 